XYZ had a registered capital of 50 lakhs consisting of 5 lakh equity shares of 10 each. Registered capital is the authorized capital. The capital that the company is registered with, the maximum amount of capital that it can raise. It issued 3 lakh shares to the public which was duly subscribed. The company also issued 50,000 equity shares of rupees 10 each fully paid to its promoters. Prepare balance sheet from the above, from the available information. So the company had a registered capital of 5 lakh. Uh, of 5 lakh shares of 10 each or 50 lakh, it issued 3 lakh shares to the public and which was duly subscribed. So if we were to pass an accounting entry for this issue of shares to the public, in short it would be bank account debit to equity share capital. Of course, we would probably put it in the shared application allotment account and then shared application allotment account debit to share capital. Bank account debit to equity share capital, we have 30 lakhs. This is for issue of shares to public. The company also issued 50,000 equity shares of 10 each fully paid to its promoters. What is the entry for this? Since shares have been issued, share capital would be credited and what is debited? Goodwill. So goodwill account debit to equity share capital 5 lakh. As a result, what do we have now in the balance sheet? We would have a bank balance of 30 lakh, we would have share capital of 30 lakhs plus 5 lakh, therefore 35 lakh, and we would have goodwill amount of 5 lakh. This is what would be reflected in the balance sheet. The format in which it will be reflected would be as below. But I hope the accounting entries are clear. Bank account debit to equity share capital for the issue of shares to the public for cash, 30 lakhs. But for issuing of shares to promoters for services rendered, the entry would be goodwill account debit to equity share capital, 5 lakhs. Net result, we have a bank balance of 30 lakhs. We have goodwill of 5 lakh and equity share capital of 35 lakh. Assuming these are the only transactions as of date. So this is how the balance sheet would look, the format, equity and liability, shareholders funds, share capital, a total amount of 35 lakh. Under assets, non-current assets and an intangible asset as per schedule 2, note 2 would be 5 lakh. And cash and cash equivalents, the balance in bank actually would be 30 lakh. So this is how the balance sheet looks and how is it shown in the notes to account? Say note 1, share capital, you have equity share capital, authorized capital, the registered capital of 50 lakh. Issued share capital is 3 lakh 50,000 shares of 10 each, 35 lakhs. Of the above shares, 50,000 shares have been issued to the promoters as fully paid pursuant to a contract without payment being received in cash. So this needs to be disclosed as a separate note. Whenever shares are issued for consideration other than cash, such a disclosure is required. This fact must be mentioned in the balance sheet, in the note to the note to accounts. <clears throat> under intangible assets, goodwill of 5 lakh and under cash and cash equivalents balance with bank of 30 lakh.